Hi, Tuskegee Valley Trojans. My name is Mrs. Bruce, and I'm a teacher at the Intermediate School, and I teach reading intervention. And I am going to read tonight's bedtime story. The story tonight is called Snowmen at Night, and the author is Carolyn Beener. All right, so get settled in, and I hope you enjoy this story. Snowmen at Night. One wintry day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling, and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo, they yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy, so they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. So that is the end of our story, Snowman at Night, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, have a great night.